Okay, so here we are. I'm at the back of the camper now. And as you can see where I have my bracket mounted up here. It's pretty hard to do this with one hand, so uh, this is already mounted. I use these two fin mounts that were came along with the kit. And this is my pigtail right here. Now, this particular trailer was already pre-wired. I did not want to use the uh, uh, camera that uh, came with the camper because it only had a little three inch monitor. That's why I went with, uh, with this one here. And uh, I love the seven inch monitor. It's so much easier to view. And I think the, uh, with the high definition camera, it's going to be so much better. Now, <clears throat> like I said, this one here was already pre-wired. If it wasn't, you see this running light here? I would just tap the 12 volts right off of this. And the way you could do that would be to just take the cover off of any one of, the, any one of these lights here. Take the cover off like that. There's two screws. Remove those screws, and then this pulls off. The assembly pulls off, and then you have uh, your uh, 12 volts right there. And you can just tap right into that notch right in the bottom of your running light. Bring your wire down, and uh, that would be the 12 volt supply to the camera. You want it to hook up to a running light um, so that the camera only comes on when the lights are on. Uh, you always want to drive a camper. Whenever you're pulling a camper, you want the running lights on anyway. And this way, like I said before, your, uh, your camera is not always on. And uh, it works out real well, as you'll see when I'm completely finished with this. Once I turn on my, my uh, lights, the camera turns right on automatically. So anyway, so this is what we have right here. The um, camera. Okay, so I took it off the bracket that uh, comes with it. And once again, they supply you with everything you need. There's a bag of hardware here with, with a uh, Allen wrench. And with all the uh, nuts and bolts you need here, there's actually only three uh, Allen screws on each side that go on this. These little jobs right here. And uh, one goes in the center. That will be your, your main pivot hole. And then the other two are so you can swivel it on there. And I'll show you that after I get it mounted. So I'm going to pause while I mount this thing. And then uh, be right back. 